everyone welcome back i'm really excited to swatch these lip products today because roman came out with lip pencils i've been wanting to try some lip pencils so roman came out with five new shades and then we also have a blur fudge tint four new shades that came out so these are actually kind of paired together and they came out with a cool kit and warm kit for the lip pencil and blur fudge tint so i did get both the packaging of this is really adorable you have over at the bottom here and a roman logo tape for the lip mate pencil there are five new shades that came out it has a very simple packaging but it looks very delicate the less is more it has a gradient cap you twist to open the product it's about 4.5 millimeters thick and the best part is that on the other side it has a blending brush for you to create that beautiful blurred effect for the blur fudge tint the packaging is pretty much the same as previous shades you have roman logo at the cap you have the brush which is pretty much the same as well i also sent in this pamphlet on how to use the product inside this tells you the shade information for the lip mate pencil in shade number one and two it's actually the same as 12 and 13. these are part of their cool and warm kits that pairs together but the rest of the others are different shades so excited to swatch these let's go ahead and start swatching First off, we have the warm kit. This is the lip pencil in shade number one, Tenderly Peach. And this is shade number 12, Warming Up. Both of these are supposed to be a peach color, sort of this peachy beige color. Here's the side-by-side -side comparison. We have Warming Up at the top. These two are the same color. The lip pencil is a lighter formula. It does have a little bit of a velvety texture, but it is lighter compared to the blur fudge tint. It does have a slight tangerine orange undertone. For my medium beige skin tone, it actually doesn't look too bad it does seem more like a base color that i would wear it as otherwise it might look better with a gloss and the blur fudge tint formula it pretty much feels the same it has the same velvety texture it also smells the same like shea butter for the lip pencil it's creamy enough to apply on your lips easily for the blending brush at the end it does help blend that out a bit you might have to just make sure that you blend it out really well it might look a little bit better if you blend with your fingers i find that the formula melts a little bit better but the brush also works pretty well It looks more like an apricot beige color instead of a peach beige color. It looks lighter than the promotional pictures. So it has this light and washed out finish, if that makes sense. Sort of like when you see concealer, it has that washed out look. I don't think I would wear it by itself. Um, this would be a really good base, however. As you know, the Blur Fudge Tint is a mask proof lip tint. It does take a while, about 10 minutes, for it to completely settle on your lips to be mask proof. There's a lot of swatches to go through today, so I won't be doing a mask test. Um, but I will do a transfer test, although I won't be waiting 10 minutes, so hopefully he'll understand. It does transfer quite a bit, but you still have a pigmented stain. It looks like the gradient look. Next up, this is the Cool Kit, pencil number two, Dovey Pink. And this is 13 Cooling Up. Both of these are cool toned colors. For Dovey Pink, it's supposed to be a pink nude color. It does look like a pink beige color, but it does have a little bit of a purple in it. Cooling Up, it's also supposed to be a nude pink color, a classic cool pink color. This one is a little bit better than the first one, where it's just a little bit too light for my skin tone. It doesn't make my face look washed out, so it adds a nice touch of color, but still looks very MLBB. you have a classic cool pink color really flattering shade and really good mlbb color for the lip pencil i didn't really see it in the first swatch because it was a little bit light 
but for this color it seems to have a really nice blurred effect and it doesn't bleed if you're looking for a lip pencil that is more defined this probably won't be the product for that just because it's not thin enough and it kind of has more of a blurring effect So we have number three kaya beige and 14 on rose kaya beige is a muted peach beige this is a side-by-side -side comparison with tenderly peach at the bottom kaya beige at the top here is more of a beige color has more brown in it and it is a little bit more muted kaya beige would be really good to highlight your lips or would be a very good lip pencil for a base it is a little bit more on the warm side quite a good combination for these two it creates a nice gradient look for unrose it's supposed to be a rosy coral color it does have a little bit of a coral undertone but it's going to look more like a rosy pink color it's a flattering color for my skin tone a very nice pop of color semi brightening doesn't make me look pale or dull very very flowering shade it's like a rose pot on your lips the brush for the lip pencil is actually quite good to blend but if you're pairing it with another lip product it blends them both together pretty well i'm actually gonna go with number five toppy shade it's sort of this ashy gray brown color and it's actually supposed to fill in shadows for example under your lip right here it's supposed to deepen the look of your lips sometimes you can see the overline of lip products on your bottom lip, it actually looks really natural. According to videos that I've seen and also in their step-by-step um, -step pamphlet, you're supposed to put on the outer corners. And also right here on top of your cupid's bow, this area just makes your lips pop out a little bit more. Still looks natural. I would say it looks pretty good. Very easy to build up the color and it looks really natural. It doesn't stand out too much. Last but not least, we have number four, Fig Breeze and 15 Berry Fizz. Fig Breeze is a nude pink color, and then Berry Fizz is a berry pink color. Here's the side by side comparison with W Pink, which is at the bottom. Fig Breeze does look more muted, but it does seem to be more of a pink purple color, whereas W Pink is more of a light pink color. For Berry Fizz, it's the brightest and most vibrant out of all these shades. You do have this berry pink color, it looks quite similar to their promotional pictures. Not a color that I typically would wear, but it does give a nice brightening effect, and it has this youthful and playful vibe to it. I think I prefer the full look over the gradient look. It actually doesn't look too bad. I get a little bit too vibrant, but if you pair with the right clothes, then I think it would look really good. So I'm gonna go ahead and number five topi shade again. <laughs> I also really like this. I'm gonna go ahead and do my lip color for this video as I talk about the intro and um, outro. But some people ask me what I wear at the beginning of my videos and I always post it in the description box. I'm gonna go ahead and number three. I'm gonna go in with number 12 warming up as my base. I'm gonna go in with number one and the contour with number five at Topi Shade. I'm actually gonna go in with the mini glassing water gloss. This is in the shade Clear Jelly number six, just a clear gloss. Very gorgeous, watery do you like gloss i was more excited about the lip pencils and they definitely did not disappoint really nice range of colors these pencils actually work better for blurring effect with that said it has a really nice blurring effect the blurring brush is also quite good the lip pencils are also not drying and it stays put where you apply it they don't really have a scent as well I'm looking forward to more shades for the blur fudge tints they were also very beautiful shades as well perfect for spring and summer the formula is also the same same packaging as well so that's all for today's video and i will see you in the next video